Hello friends and welcome to this 19th edition of the Miscellany for 2021. I'm Mike Birmingham and this week we see how tea bags can be recycled. Look at old Dublin from 1882 to 1929. Also marvel at SpaceX's latest launch and see some amazing cake designs. First our brain teaser asks, which is heavier? A pound of stones or a pound of feathers? Well. We'll wait till the end to find out that one. Vintage pictures now. Some images now. And from today, we of course have the luxury of dating websites. But back in 1901, in the wild west of America, it just wasn't so. And some enterprising cowboys at the turn of the century of the last century came up with this sign to attract and hopefully potentially woo some interested passing ladies. It's unknown how successful this form of marketing was for them. And here's an amazing picture from 1877 of the infamous town of Deadwood in South Dakota. It was named by early settlers after the dead trees found in its gulch or ravine. The town in more recent times became the subject of a HBO TV series starring Ian McShane and Timothy Oliphant. And now to Earthwatch. I've never given news tea bags a second thought until I read a recent article that made me think twice. So before you dump them like I used to do, maybe consider the following. A tea bag is slightly acidic, so you can use your old tea bags to remove different types of makeup. You might have realized that some commercial makeup removers contain green tea oil in them. So why not use the source directly? Uh, old tea bags are perfect for your garden because they can germinate seeds. So first you place the used tea bags as well as the seeds on a plate with water until the seeds start sprouting. Then plant the whole thing in the dirt and the tea bags will continue to make the plant grow. Now we hate puffy eyes, red eyes and even dark circles because they all influence our appearances. And some people spend a lot of money on expensive products which prove less effective. Why not try tea bags? And they're great for reducing any cosmetic problem around your eyes. Remember only use green tea or black tea bags as uh, the, these are better than those containing cinnamon or even pepper. You don't want to be using pepper. No, the latter will burn your eyes. Nurses have used tea bags to stop bleeding for years. Uh, they are available for minor wounds and also can absorb some of the blood. On the other hand, they can serve as a mild antiseptic so the wound won't get infected. Now it's a tough job to wash dirty dishes with grease. Why not try environmentally friendly tea bags to make things easier? If you steep a tea bag in a sink with dirty dishes to help loosen the oil, make sure the water's hot, wait for a moment, rinse them off and that should help things. Smelly shoes might be a problem in each household. Of course, you can buy any commercial product to help remove it or consider using tea bags instead. Not only can they save you money, but they can work even better absorbing smells whilst making the shoes smell a little better. Well, certainly like tea bags. A tea bag's natural antiseptic properties combined with its ED, CD, anti-inflammatory properties make it a perfect remedy for sunburn, which will help relieve, uh, relieve the painfulness and might help prevent peeling as well. Uh, did tea bags, hmm, old tea bags, well they can also help get rid of nasty odours in the fridge, effortless to operate, just put them in a little bowl, stick them in the refrigerator and they will absorb the odours and bring back a pleasant smell to the fridge. Old tea bags can be used on cleaning glass as well. You steep the tea bags in water, then you pour in a bit of white vinegar, pour the mixture into a spray bottle. This makes for a great glass cleaner as well as the tea bags make it smell nice, the vinegar keeps it from streaking and the tannins will help remove water stains. And finally, you might sometimes get injured when you have to shave your beard. If this happens to you, take an old moist tea bag and put it directly onto your shaving wound. It will lessen the swelling, help stop the bleeding and it's better than and, uh, little pieces of toilet paper. So who knew how versatile those old used tea bags could be? Well, as for me, I will definitely use a few of those suggestions in the future and might even turn over a new leaf. Excuse the pun. Uh, now, yes, yes, of course, tea leaves in a cup. Yeah, the old habit of telling your future. 
Of course, that was before tea bags. There was actually tea leaves. You can still get them, but not everybody uses them. But you can still buy the loose tea. I wonder how many of you out there still make tea in the old-fashioned way. What it used to be? One for me, one for thee, and one for the pot. They used to use three, didn't they, back in the day. Now, some nostalgia from Ireland. Some events from this week back in time include May 8th, 1951, the Arts Council is founded in the Republic. May 10th, 1960, Paul Hewson, better known as Bono, is born at the Rotunda Hospital in Dublin. May 11th, 1979, the Reardons, a drama about life in a rural Irish village, is the most successful serial in the history of RTE. It ran for 15 years, but it came to an end on that date. May the 12th in 563 AD, St. Columkill establishes a community on Iona. May 13th, 1954, Sean Patrick Michael Sherrard, better known as Johnny Logan, is born. He's considered to be the most successful Eurovision singer and song contestant of all time. And it was sad to hear in the news last week of the closing of the renowned Joe Walsh Tours. The company was founded back in 1961 by a County Down native, Mr Joe Walsh, after he had spent time working for the Ulster Transport Authority and also later with Thomas Cook in London. So here's an advert remembering the company from 1971, voiced by the late Larry Gogan, courtesy of the Irish Film Institute website Video Collection. Yugoslavia 69 pounds, Ibizent, Italy 59 pounds. Go with Joe Walsh Tours. Yeah, short and sweet there. The prices though compared to today. Now, in a four part series, we remember Old Dublin in a slideshow of nostalgic pictures. This first part is from Next week, we look back from 1930 to 1959. Frontiers of Science Now. SpaceX successfully launches and lands a starship. Sounds like a headline from a retro sci-fi comic, but it's happened. It's fifth high altitude test. SpaceX did indeed launch and land its prototype SN-15 Starship. The test came two weeks after NASA announced it chose the vehicle to transport astronauts to the surface of the moon. Now, the ship itself reminds me of something you would have seen in an old Flash Gordon movie or serial. But Elon Musk intends to use the ship to send people to Mars. The previous four test flights ended in fiery explosions before, during or soon after touchdown at the southeastern tip of Texas near Brownsville. 
this latest upgraded version of SpaceX full scale, stainless steel, bullet shaped rocket ship soared more than six miles over the Gulf of Mexico before flipping and descending horizontally and then going vertical again just in time for touchdown. The success came on the 60th anniversary of the flight of Alan Shepard, the first American in space, and it capped a stunning two weeks of achievement for SpaceX. Elon Musk has said last month that the money from NASA will help the development of the Starship, which is meant to eventually launch atop a super heavy booster. He said it's been a pretty expensive project so far and was mostly funded internally. Now to video, video. Well, life can be stressful sometimes and cats have been there to show us that relaxing is one of the best ways to counter its effects, like this one. Now to China, where one enterprising confectioner has found how to turn some everyday items into some deliciously sweet treats. Hi, Alicia. <laughs> Mmm, those creations are so lifelike, it makes you wonder, how do they do that? Our brain teaser answer, which is heavier, a pound of stones or a pound of feathers? Did you get it? They're both the same, a pound, after all, is a pound. The final word now, quotation, affirmation, words of comfort and inspiration. Health does not always come from medicine. Most of the time, it comes from peace of mind, peace and heart, peace and soul. It comes from laughter and love. I suppose hence the expression, laughter is the best medicine. So a couple of things from the last week there. Hope you enjoyed looking in. If you have any thoughts you'd like to share with us, please do so in the comments section below. We're on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And please share this video to your friends to help grow the family of miscellany watchers. So until next time, look out for one another. Thanks for watching again and bye for now. From the home studio of Michael Birmingham.